George Barna and the Cultural Research Center recently reported that only 51% of people of faith say they'll vote in the November election. So if you're among the 49% who may sit this one out, keep in mind how Christian votes can determine the outcome. Speaking at a rally with faith leaders this week, former President Donald Trump encouraged evangelicals to participate in the election. Because you have a reputation of not voting proportionately like you should. You do know that if Christians did, nobody could ever beat us. Nobody. So if you thought about voting and are not sure which candidates to choose, here are some thoughts on what you can do to make some good choices. This comes from Pastor Eric Thomas of First Norfolk Baptist Church here in Virginia. First, Dr. Thomas makes it clear neither he nor his church endorses candidates or tells people which candidate they should support. He shares four basic principles. The first is platform over personalities. Examine the platform, especially those issues important to you. Where do the candidates stand? Secondly, look at character. The character of the candidates leading us matters. Thirdly, look for the greater good rather than the lesser evil. Which candidate will best advance the greater good for our nation? And the fourth thing to look for, God's glory. I'm going to vote as best I know how for God's glory rather than my preference. We are citizens of the kingdom of God, first and foremost. And I'm an American second, or third or fourth, I don't know. Um, now, people might say that's unpatriotic. I say it's the most patriotic thing you can be as a follower of Jesus. When asked, I always encourage people to vote for godly and righteous leaders. And how will you know that? Well, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 7, verse 20, by their fruits you will know them. So let's go out and look for fruit bearers when we vote, and may God's will be done. That's it today from the Global Lane. Until next time, be blessed.